potato is a type of starchy root vegetable, and is native to South America where it has been cultivated for thousands of years. Today, potato is one of the most widely cultivated crops and consumed staple food in the world. The life of potato can be divided into five growth stages, sprout development, vegetative growth, tuber initiation, tuber bulking, and tuber maturation. In general, potato is planted in the spring. Firstly, the soil should be well prepared before the planting of seed potatoes. The seed potato should have at least one eye or sprout on each piece. The seed potatoes are then planted in the trenches that are dug about 6 inches deep and 12 inches apart. The first growth stage of a potato plant is sprout development. It usually lasts for 2 to 3 weeks after planting the seed potato. During this stage, the potato plant develops new shoots or sprouts from the eyes or buds of the seed potato. The sprouts grow towards the surface of the soil and eventually emerge above the ground. The sprouts develop into stems that produce leaves. This stage is essential for the potato plant as it allows it to establish itself in the soil and start producing energy through photosynthesis. After sprout development, the potato plant enters the vegetative growth stage. The development of stems, roots, leaves and side shoots is an important process in the vegetative growth stage, which lasts for about 4 to 8 weeks. During this stage, the potato plant grows and develops rapidly. New leaves emerge from buds that are located at the base of the stem, and as they grow, they develop a petiole or stem that attaches the leaf to the plant. The leaves become larger and more numerous, which allows the plant to produce more energy. The potato plant also produces side shoots also known as stolons during the leaf development in the vegetative growth stage. These are secondary stems that grow horizontally from the main stem. Side shoots are important for the growth and development of potato plants because they allow the plant to produce more tubers, which increases the yield of the crop. The plant produces more leaves, and the stems grow taller, allowing the plant to capture more sunlight for photosynthesis. The plant also produces more roots, and develops a stronger root system deeper into the soil, which helps it to absorb more nutrients from the soil. At this stage, the plant requires a lot of nutrients, especially nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, to support its growth. The third stage in the life cycle of a potato is tuber initiation or set. It usually begins around 6 to 8 weeks after planting and lasts for about 2 to 3 weeks. During this stage, the potato plant starts to produce tubers, which are the edible part of the potato and the primary source of starch and other nutrients for the plant. The tiny tubers start to develop from the stolons, which are the underground stems of the potato plant. In this stage, the potato plant begins to allocate more energy towards the production of tubers, and the stems and leaves begin to slow down their growth. The plant also produces more roots to support the growing tubers. The tubers start out small and increase in size as they grow. This stage is critical for the plant's yield and quality because it determines the number and size of tubers that will develop later. After tuber initiation, the potato plant enters the tuber bulking stage, which lasts for about 6 to 10 weeks. During this stage, the tiny tubers formed during the tuber initiation stage start to grow rapidly, and their size increases significantly by filling with starch and other nutrients. The plant also continues to produce more stolons and tubers, and the number and size of tubers continue to increase. In this stage, the potato plant continues to allocate more energy towards the production of tubers, and the stems and leaves begin to die back. The tubers grow larger and eventually fill the underground space. The tuber bulking stage is crucial for the potato plant's yield and quality because it determines the final size and shape of the tubers. The final stage in the life cycle of a potato is tuber maturation, which lasts for about two to three weeks. During this stage, the potato plant stops producing new tubers and focuses on the maturation of existing tubers. In this stage, the potato plant begins to senesce. The tubers continue to fill with starch and other nutrients. The leaves of the plant start to turn yellow, and the stems begin to wither and die. The tubers start to develop a thick skin or periderm, which protects them from damage and disease. The plant also stops producing roots altogether. 
The tubers become fully mature and are ready for harvest. The tuber maturation stage is critical for the potato plant's quality and storage ability because it determines the tuber's dry matter content and starch accumulation. In general, potato is harvested in the fall after the plants have died back and the potato tubers have reached their maximum size and dry matter content. Understanding the various growth stages of a potato's life cycle is crucial for successful potato cultivation. Each stage has unique characteristics and durations that affect the plant's growth and development. It is worth noting that potato flowering is a natural process that occurs when the potato plant reaches maturity. Flowering does not necessarily indicate the end of the tuber initiation and bulking stages. While potato flowers can be visually appealing, they do not have any practical use for potato cultivation, and can actually reduce the yield of the tubers. The fruit of potato plant should not be eaten and serves no purpose unless the fruit seeds are used to grow a new breed of potato. It's important to note that most commercial potato varieties are bred to produce few or no flowers to prevent diverting energy away from tuber development. The flowers of a potato plant can range in color from white to pink to lavender and can have yellow centers. The color of the flower does not necessarily indicate the color of the potato tuber. About 400 million tons of potato is produced worldwide each year. China is the largest potato producer in the world. India is the second largest producer. Russia, Ukraine, and the United States of America are also major potato producers. Potato is also an important staple crop in many other countries. Potato is a staple food, and a large portion of the global population consumes potato-based foods. Here are some common potato-based foods. French fries are a side dish with burgers, sandwiches, or as a snack. Mashed potato is a side dish with roasted meats or as a comfort food. Baked potato is a classic side dish or a light meal. Potato chip is a popular snack food. Potato salad is a classic dish that is often served as a side dish. Hash brown is a delicious breakfast side dish. Potato soup is a hearty and comforting dish. Potato gratin is a delicious French dish. Potato gnocchi is a classic Italian dish. Potato is also used in many industrial applications, including the production of starch, alcohol, and animal feed. Potato is a good source of carbohydrates, dietary fiber, and many essential vitamins, including vitamin C, vitamin B6, and folate, minerals, including potassium, magnesium, and iron, and antioxidants. Potato also contains a significant amount of proteins, and is low in fat. Potato is naturally gluten-free, making it a good choice for people who have celiac disease or a gluten intolerance.